In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase old school. Old school is a phrase we use when we're describing someone who likes to do things the old fashioned way. A great example would be you can buy a machine that will make bread for you. You can buy a machine and you put in flour and water and salt and yeast and a little bit of sugar maybe if you like things sweet like me. And the machine, the bread machine, um, you hit start and it will make a loaf of bread for you. But some people are old school when it comes to making bread. Some people like to make bread with their hands. They like to put all the ingredients in a bowl. They like to mix it with their hands. They like to knead the flour with their hands. So they would be, uh, we would describe them as old school. Like, oh, he's old school when it comes to making bread. He likes to make all of his bread by hand. He does not like a bread machine. I like a bread machine, by the way. It is so handy. I don't know if you have one, but they're very, very cool. The second phrase I wanted to ha help you learn today is the phrase school of thought. So this is a phrase we use when two different groups of people have two different thoughts about something. So an example would be one school of thought is that children should play outside during the school day at something we call recess. Sorry, my brain wasn't working there for a minute. So one school of thought is that children should play outside at least once or twice a day. Another school of thought is that children, when they play outside, they're more likely to get hurt and we should keep them inside so that they're safe. So you'll notice I use the phrase school of thought there. Uh, one school of thought refers to one group of people and another group of people, I would say that there's another school of thought and they think children should stay inside. I think children should always go out and play at least once, twice, three times a day, maybe more. Uh, I think the outdoors is good and healthy for everyone. So uh, there you go. Old school is when you do something an old way uh, and you would describe the person as being old school. Uh, and then a school of thought is simply a way of thinking about something. Um, let's look at a comment from a previous video. Today's comment is from Ario Handoya. Hendoyo, sorry, Ario Hendoyo. And the comment is, I never went to school. My teachers came to my house to teach me my lessons. And then in brackets, homeschool. And my response was very cool. Homeschooling is quite popular in Canada as well. So if you weren't aware, there are actually a number of different ways to go to school in Canada. You can go to a public school. You can go to a private school. A public school is run by the government. A private school is run by a group of people. You can go to a boarding school where as a student you live at the school um, or you can go, uh, sorry, or you can stay home and your parents can be your teachers or your parents might hire someone to come and be a teacher or a tutor for you. Uh, the most common kind of homeschooling in Canada uh, is where parents teach their own children. It is completely legal and many, many parents do that. Um, my neighbor actually homeschools uh, his kids, um, him and his wife. Um, they teach their kids everything. Uh, those kids uh, just learn at home. So homeschooling is very cool and it does happen in many, many places around the world. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of different ways that you can go to school. And one of the ways that you can go to school is by not going to school and simply staying home. Um, hopefully all of these things made sense to you today. Um, my theme, obviously the last few days has been school. Uh, I did back to school the other day um, because school is rapidly approaching. I'll try to stop talking about school in the next few videos. I'll try to teach you some other lessons, uh, things that are more applicable to your life. Anyways, Bob the Canadian here. Thanks for watching this short English lesson and uh, I'll be here tomorrow with another short one just for you.